Happy Friday, Print Fam. Welcome back to the vlog. Today, I have some website stuff I have to get taken care of. Bob will be coming sometime tonight. It's about, as I look, it's about 10 o'clock. Um, I've got a couple of things to get printed. I know Bob's got some vinyl he needs to get printed that I'm going to turn on the Konica and print a couple of pages for a buddy. But, the news. Today, I gave my two weeks notice at my day job. It was very, it was very hard. Um, I like what I do. I like who I work with. I like who I work for. Um, just like any job, there's ups and downs. But the reason behind me quitting is less so much so that I can do this entrepreneur thing and I can be my own boss. It's, it's part of that. But along the way, I've kind of lost who I am. And I have a very negative self-image. Um, that's one of the reasons I actually like the beard is it hides my double chin. I am very overweight and that is probably the biggest factor that contributes to my negative self-image. But a big reason for me quitting, or really, well, the biggest reason that I'm quitting is for my family. I've got little kids that need me and I work. That's, that's what I do. I go to work all day and then I spend a little bit of time with them and I work all night. So the biggest reason that I'm quitting is for them. As part of that, the main reason for quitting is for time. I, I want to be able to control my time and I'm going to make less money initially. It's, it's not about the money. I'm not quitting because of money. I'm, I'm quitting because I need to be able to take care of myself. I need to find out really who I am and need to be able to take better care of myself. And this will allow me to do that. So I know I'm getting a little emotional about it, but it's okay to be emotional about things. Like I'm, I'm excited for what lies ahead. I'm nervous because there's so many unknowns, whether it's taxes or insurance or all these other things that I'm just not not prepared for. So I know there's going to be those things, there's going to be those gotchas, but I'm excited. I'm really excited for what lies ahead and the growth and the change that will hopefully happen. So definitely stick around so you can see all the fun stuff that's happening. Hopefully we'll get some better content going on because I'll just be able to focus more and I'll get more jobs and be able to share more knowledge with you. Um, it's been really fun to see that a couple of people have reached out, that they're getting their first printer and that they're excited. Hopefully I can help take some of that stress off of you. Hopefully you can learn from my mistakes or my wins, uh, my ups and downs. So make sure you subscribe, stick along. Definitely if you shop on Amazon, Using that affiliate link would be much appreciated, especially now. So let's get on with the day. Let's make it a little, a little happier, a little less emotional. And I'll check in with you when Bob gets here. All right, guys. So I just thought I'd show you what I'm working on. This is going to be a monthly coupon book. Uh, it's one of my buddies giving it to his daughter for her birthday. So ignore the little blotches because just trying to keep them safe. Anyway, so these are definitely not in order. They used Canva to design them and then they sent them to me and they're all different shapes and sizes. So I unified it all to be four by six because that's what they wanted. So these are all different artboards. This is Illustrator just because Illustrator makes it really easy to snap. So these are all different artboards. So there's 12 of them, one for each month. And I've got a clipping mask on each one of them and and then I aligned it to basically fit within that four by six. So from here, I saved it as a PDF. So now we can take it over to 
the Fiery and load it in the template. So let's get over there and show you what that looks like. So this is the Fiery and we've got the file right here. So I'll right click it and come down to impose. And from here, it's gonna bring up the impose window. Now, hopefully I've done this right. And over here, we'll be able to select the template and hopefully I have imported the one from Fiery, which of course they don't have a four by six. So I'm gonna have to make one, which sucks, but if they did have a four by six, it would be as if it was this four by five and a half, then we can change it to unique and it would put everything on the pages to be cut. So since it is not in here, I am going to spend the next little while programming one because I still don't fully understand it. So I'll be back shortly. I'm not going to bore you with this or hold the camera up the whole time. Eventually I'll get some screen recording software on here and I can show you. I will also actually get the Fiery put on the network so that I can do it right from my computer rather than using a USB drive. So we'll check in once I've got these all sorted out. All right guys, I got it figured out. It wasn't as difficult as I thought. Business cards are just a lot harder since there's so many more on the page and there's tons of room left over when you're doing four by sixes. So, we have got it all programmed right here in the printer. We already ran some tests. Actually got it right for the first time. So it's going to Also going to scan the barcode since I have it set to scan. It's going to scan, check registration, adjust the blades. Snazzy, makes it really simple, really automated, especially if you're having to do hundreds or thousands. And then everything, all the waste, is in this magic black box. Huh? Alright guys, so I'm working on just some generic fold over thank you cards. I got the cut set up alright, but when I did the crease, it's off just a little bit. So I adjusted it, and now I'm off the other way. So, I just printed a couple more test sheets. I'm using some paper that I don't really like, because it's a, a matte finish. So the ink just doesn't adhere to it as well as I'd like. So I've got these um, printed, but what I do on the Duplo is, since I've already set up the job, I just hit job details and I can come down here. Originally I had it set at 127 millimeters, changed it there. So I'm gonna try 126 Point three. So hopefully that will put it in the right place. We come here and we click download. We download it to the Duplo override. So now what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna cut these ones. They have a barcode. So as soon as I run the job, it should change it to 11 from 12 like it is now and then I'll fold them since I can't do it in a single pass. So that was perfect. The edges line up like it should. So now I'll print the real thing. 
So got these all done, super excited. One thing to note with the 616, it technically can't accept a seven inch wide. I think the minimum is eight and a half that it will do. But all I did was lie to the machine and told it that it was a nine inch wide piece of paper. And I just put these guides as close as I could to hold the paper in place and works great. So it doesn't really matter if you're just putting a crease in it. And I don't have any other way to crease these to make them look nice, so super excited. Now let's go write a couple of thank you notes. All right guys, it's a little after one. I got my thank you cards all wrapped up though, which I feel is really important. Thank you cards are something that I really want to put a focus on throughout this coming year. I think it's just an extra touch that people just don't do anymore. It's something that I can't like, the last thank you card I remember getting was from my mother-in-law and like anyone outside of my family, I can't tell you the last time I got a card. So I am looking forward to this change. Um, I'm looking forward to going full time in my business. So a lot is changing. I hope you join me for the journey. I hope that I can help you learn and help you understand um, the pros, cons, ups, downs of running a printing and promotions business. And I hope you can enjoy that with me. I do have a few other things that I should get done tonight, but like I said, it's already after one and this eye is starting to feel it again. So I'm gonna try to get to bed before too late. I do need to do some printing and stuff tomorrow. Bob didn't show up, probably partially because I forgot to text him and partially because he probably didn't want to come anyway. So appreciate you, appreciate you Cam. Thanks for editing the videos. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. So thanks so much. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by sharing it, liking the video, subscribing. If you buy anything from Amazon, you can use that Amazon affiliate link. Your price stays the same, but a small commission comes back to help the channel. Thanks as always, and see you later, print fans.